I'm going to be teaching you how to make a maze game in Scratch. First, we're going to need to make a sprite. So let's delete this cat and let's make a new one. So center. Oh. Center it. Let's make like another square in it. Let's call it white and blue, sure. Let's make it white and blue. Let's set size to 40. Okay. So this is going to be our sprite. And now we're going to need to make a backdrop. Let's make it a simple maze. Let's make it color black. Let's make it a little thicker. Okay, good. Okay, now we're going to be drawing like a little maze. It doesn't really matter how your maze is. So like, this is fine. Just try to draw something on the outside so they can't see and go around it. Like this. So they can go through easily. And you want to make... Let's erase some of this because it's a little bit too long. Let's keep going. Okay, that looks fine. So now we can code. So let's plug this here. And let's say when fly clicked, go to whatever this place is. So I pick negative 206, 140. So put it there. And then we want to make it so if it touches, we want to make it so it'll move around. So let's do a forever and if and if another if another if. Okay. And then let's push key space press another one another one another one. Let's do up arrow, down arrow, right arrow, left arrow. All right, so now we have these, but now we need to put things in. So let's put change Y and change Y on up and down arrow, and let's make it change Y by five and negative five and then let's push change by x and then change by x again let's do five get a five so let's see if this will work so as you can see it's literally going through the maze but if you touch it it's not doing anything, so we're going to need to fix that. So we're going to go here, and we're going to make a health variable. And then push OK. So this is going to be our health. We might want to put it in like a different mode, like here. And we might want to put it like here, so it'll put the health there. And we can do another if statement in the forever loop saying if touching color 
If touching color, let's get this. This this button right here shows the root. You don't even have to guess the color. You can just push on it and look. Blah, blah. So if touching color black, change health by one. Sure. And let's put this in the forever loop on the top. And we're going to actually put a set health to 100 here. Because that will help the game. So if touching color black, then set health to negative 1, actually. Okay, let's try it out. And our health goes down, but... The health is, is at, it's, oh, it's on negative. So we're going to set health to actually, yeah, negative one, but we're going to do a thousand up here. So it turns to a thousand, touch the thing, and it changes. Let me see this one. So, it changes the health, but it changes too much of the health. We're not we're not looking for that much of the health. So, we might want to just put in this in a separate loop with forever and if. And let's take this out and then put this in here. And let's also put wait one second. So it just doesn't automatically but check down. So let's wait like one second, yeah. Oh, wait, where did that go? Wait one second. Okay, let's see. Okay, so as you can see, it's changing the health by one. Every time I go through here, we might want to wait 0 0.1 seconds because one second it is taking a long time. So, so as you can see, when you're touching this, the health is going down a lot, so it makes it not cheat. But it probably can make us go through the whole maze. So let's change the health back to 50. Let's try this. So it's 50. Let's try it. Can we get through it? Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, we still can get it. So let's do like 30. Like 20, actually. So we have 20 health. When you start out, you have 20 health. We touch this, we lose health. So if the health goes to if the health goes to whatever, it's gonna change the backdrop. So let's make a backdrop. And let's go to paint. We made another backdrop and we're gonna call and we're gonna call it game over. So when if your health goes to zero Game over is going to go on. So let's get this and type in game over. Let's make it a cool style pixel, yeah. Old in day video games. Let's put it right here. So. Okay, so we made this game over. You might want to change it to red. Because red's a little more satisfying. Oh, wait. Okay, so we changed it to red. But, thing is, we don't want that game over to go on after when you push the flag. So, we're going to push switch, switch backdrop to... Hmm... Game over. Oh, wait, no. Backdrop 1. So, we're going to switch your backdrop to backdrop 1. But, we want to make this a 
uh, we want to make another if statement. If we're going to make an equal sign if health is equals one switch factor up to game over and let's do a stop all and let's put this maybe in here we don't know if this will work yet we'll just test it so let's just all right let's do it so what if health equals one Oh, okay, and it won't let you move anywhere. So if health equals one, then it won't let you move ever, and then done. Make it easy. So that's how you can make an easy maze game in Scratch. If you like this video, um, then like it and comment what other videos I should do to help you guys out. So 